Hello everybody, this is Mary Jane coming to you from a yurt in a field in France and I just wanted to show you um, a little bit of my garden. It's spring and um, oh gosh, everything is shooting up. This is a peach tree. Um, it's the time of year when really you should be clearing your beds and preparing your soil and um, my beds are just full of such a mixture of fantastic plants that I cannot bear to do any weeding. Okay, so look, there's one dock. I probably would get rid of that. But what else have we got? Okay, so there's self-sown calendula. Great in salads. Um, excellent for making a healing oil. Here is some red cabbage that has gone to seed. The tops of it are delicious and tender and like purple sprouting broccoli. Um, there are some dandelions down there. I leave all wild plants that you can eat. These are excellent for the kidneys. Really, really good um, nutrients for the body. What else? Um, we've got some uh, self-sown spinach here. We have all of course got sticky jack this is also brilliant for uh, bones and teeth stinging nettles stinging nettles they have more minerals and vitamins in them than any cultivated vegetable we eat these very regularly i have um, beetroot self-sown beetroots i just leave one plant every time to go to seed and then it seeds itself everywhere and we can eat the leaves lots of lots of leaves in the salad yeah it's difficult to find a space where there isn't something brilliant growing look there's some parsley um i can see some fennel over there is it in the picture I'm not sure um there are some his this is a nitrogen fixing wild plant uh, so I'm loath to take that out because it's feeding the other plants around it. Here's some, I pronounce it uh, mullein, but I think maybe other people call it mullein. It grows with a tall spike with yellow flowers at the top, uh, the leaves. Oh yeah, another name for it is lungwort. It's excellent for cleaning out your lungs, health of the lungs. There is one plant here, it's poisonous, a type of euphorbia. I will take that out, that can irritate the skin. Um, there's some oxalis here. This has a very um, sour, lemony flavour, lovely to have in salads. It just brings a zing into the salad. Uh, dandelion flower, some people eat them, but I don't find them too yummy. Here's a different kind of vetch, again, a nitrogen fixing plant, so excellent for feeding the soil for the others. You can pick this bit off here. And stick that in the salad and eat it. Really yummy. Tastes like peas. Yeah. So that's it for now. That's just a little bit <laughs> that I will carefully weed. Mm -hmm. Happy days.